is wrapping up. We got a couple more days left and I am going to be doing another lesson that's going to help me out with my delicious skills. I think I know, um, I guess, according to Babel, I know 212 words of Deutsch, which is okay. It kind of makes sense that I can't say a whole lot. Um, I do realize that whenever I speak or try to speak um, German a little bit, uh, it's very limited. Like I have like a like a, a wall right now of of things that I can say, and that's pretty much it. So um, speaking it every day is going to help. I know the lessons aren't really going to help super super like uh, much as far as like getting the um, the grammar down. Type. I feel like that's something you just have to experience through conversation so i will be having a few videos where I'll, I'll show you guys my conversational skills and stuff like that i might even drop one today who knows but uh go ahead and like the video before you get started if you guys are new to the channel they'll comment if you guys are returning viewers they'll comment some real post videos every single day already didn't talk i'll ask that you guys abonniert decent canal and like the video a bit tough you leave done let's go ahead and jump into this thing man dive nose deep and see what lesson we're getting ourselves into today let me plug my my little headset up and see what we working with man because you already know the vibes i might not even use my headset today to be honest i just might use my computer audio because my headset broke i'm not sure if you all can tell but one side is lower than the other cool, cool, cool. anyways low skeets So what do we have here? It's just all this review. Okay. Der Fisch. Der Fisch is the fish. Die Wurst. Die Wurst is the sausage. Das Obst. Das Obst is the fruit. Die Nudeln. Die Nudeln is the pasta. Der Käse. Der Käse is the cheese. Das Gemüse. Das Gemüse is the vegetables. Let's go, let's go. The fruit doesn't look so fresh. Uh, das Obst uh, sieht nicht so frisch aus. So frisch aus. Das Obst sieht nicht so frisch aus. Das Obst sieht nicht so frisch aus. So frisch aus. Okay, we can buy sausage at the meat counter. So, wir können um, die Wurst und uh, wait, we can buy sausage at the meat counter. So, wir können die Wurst on the uh, ankaufen, ankaufen der Fleischstecker. No, der Kauf. Yeah, oh my god. Wir können die Wurst an der Fleischtheke kaufen. See, this is what makes no sense to me. It's the grammar. So, here's the English sentence. We can buy sausage at the meat counter. And here's what it directly translates to. We can the the sausage... Um, the and Wait. So, we can the sausage and the, and the meat counter buy. Like... We can the meat sausage, or like, uh, we can uh, the sausage by the meat counter by, like, or purchase, I should say. That just doesn't make any sense. It's just confusing, but whatever. I'm putting cheese in the fridge. Uh, ich lege den Käse uh, den Kühlschrank. Ich lege den Käse in den Kühlschrank. Uh, ich lege den Käse in den Kühlschrank. That makes sense. Uh, wir machen uh, Nudeln und Hähnchen. Wir machen Nudeln und Hähnchen. Wir machen Nudeln und Hähnchen. So we're making uh, pasta and chicken. Probiert du? Uh, will you try? Oh, oh. Das Gemüse. Das Gemüse. Yes. Probierst du das Gemüse? Fill in the articles in the accusative, bro. Articles are the worst, man. Dirty das, dog. I, I, I can't. It just, it's too rough. I, honestly, it, it's very rough, man. Uh, ich möchte uh, blank full Kornbrot. I'd like a loaf of whole wheat bread. Um. Oh fuck. Uh, ich möchte D. How about D? Yeah, ich möchte die full Kornbrot. No, 
Bro, what? Was? Okay, hold on. Ein. What? Ich möchte ein Vollkornbrot. Okay. In German, you can simply say Brot to refer to a loaf of bread. So, so, a, so I'd like a loaf of whole wheat bread. So this is a, um, uh, what do they call it? A definite article. It, it, it basically shows you like the amount of what you're trying to get. It, I would like a loaf of bread or I would like one loaf of bread. That would be ein. That, that actually makes a lot of sense. Sophie füttert Hühner? So Sophie is feeding the chickens. Um, I, see, I, I think it would be der. No, it wouldn't be der. Die, die Hühner. Yeah, die Hühner. Sophie füttert die Hühner. So Sophie füttert die Hühner. I, so once again, guys, my pronunciation with the umlaut are just horrible. And by the way, the sound you keep hearing in the background, um, a, a long time ago when I was in my infancy on my YouTube channel, I uh, accidentally plugged in a browser source in my OBS that uh, makes a sound every time someone follows me on uh, YouTube. And as you can see, we're getting a lot of subscribers. So uh, that whooshing sound is people subscribing. Um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I can't even fix it. Uh, nehmen Sie, uh, die Käse? Die Käse? No, de, das Käse? Hmm. Are you taking the cheese? Nehmen Sie den Käse. Den Käse. Yeah, den Käse. Nehmen Sie den Käse? Nehmen Sie den Käse. True. Ich esse, ich esse, um, ein Wurst. I'm eating a sausage. Eine, eine Wurst. Eine Wurst. Ich, ich esse, esse eine, Wurst. eine Wurst. That makes sense. Okay. Wir machen um, der Fisch. Okay, literally. So we're making the fish. Uh, we're making das Fisch. No, der Fisch. Wir. It's not really masculine. So would it be die Fisch? No. Den Fisch. Wir machen den Fisch. Yes. Wir machen den Fisch. Wir machen den Fisch. Makes sense. Wir haben. We have chickens in the garden. So uh, we have. So this one. So this is where it's like drop the article wherever possible. So for this sentence, it says we have chickens in the garden. So this is going to be an indefinite article because it doesn't show you how many chickens um, they have in the garden. So that would be Hunna instead of Ein Hunna because Ein Hunna means we have a chicken in the, in the garden. And then Hunna is we have chickens in the garden. So this is about to be correct. Number two. Bang. Wir haben Hühner im Garten. Yeah. Wir haben Hühner im Garten. So, um, ich, ich mag uh, die blank, now so the bloom. So, uh, I like cheese as much as sausage. So, uh, this is also a uh, sentence where it's not definite. It is not a definite article. It is indefinite. So, we're going to be using Käse instead of einen Käse because einen, I like a cheese, right? I like a cheese and a sausage, that would be very, that's quantitative, but this is not quantitative, it's like just saying you like cheese in general. So we're gonna be choosing number two, which is ich, ich mag Käse, Käse instead of uh, einen Käse. Boom. And same with this one. Um, Wurst is gonna be Wurst instead of eine Wurst. See? That's, ich mag Käse genauso wie Wurst. Yeah, ich mag Käse genauso wie Wurst. So, uh, next one, the eggs are in the fridge. Um, so, Zin im Kühlschrank. So, same thing, die Eier. So, die Eier, uh, the egg, uh, in the, are in the fridge. This is gonna be a little bit more tricky because it says the eggs are in the fridge. It's not specifying the quantity of the eggs. So you'd say Aya Zin Im Kulstrank. So I would say number two still because it, do, it doesn't quantify how many eggs are in the fridge. It just says the eggs are in the fridge. So a, a, a normal person would say the Aya Zin Im Kulstrank. But I'm going to say Aya. Exactly. Because it's not quantitative. Let's go. Your boy is all one. Let's go. And I know, guys, stick with me. I know the, the little whooshing sound in the background is getting annoying. 
but that sounds just a rest assurance that people are subscribing um let's just do i need coffee so would you like coffee um this one is once again the same thing so if you notice all of these have something in common none of these have none of these are uh definite articles these are all indefinite articles that we're putting here um in the blanks so let's just do coffee not iron coffee would you like coffee or would you like a coffee so coffee boom that makes Möchtest sense du einen Kaffee? there we go complete the dialogue hast du den einkaufszettel yeah here's the list okay also uh was brauchen wir denn für das uh für das Ab uh, abendessen yeah ja, für das abendessen brauchen wir um, um han han with hanshin so it's hanshin han oh wait huna Pictures. Hanshin. Oh, let's see a hint. My camera died, by the way, guys. My camera battery is tot. Let's go replace that. Alright. Have no fear, Dein Liebling's YouTuber is here. Let's go. Let's go. Los Gates. Los Gates. Settle a little bit. There we go. Bam. Dying Liebling's YouTuber is here. Oh, she. Okay, so let's go ahead and cool. I forgot my fan on my com inside my computer is on, but the laptop cooler is not. There we go. There we go. Nice. Das ist besser. All right, so, uh, Hanshin. I'm pretty sure Hanshin's like this. Hanshin und eine Packung. There you go. There you go. There you go. Also, was brauchen wir denn? Uh, für das Abendessen brauchen wir Hanshin und eine Packung Reis, oder? Rice. It would be rice. Yep, let's go. Also, was brauchen wir denn? Für das Abendessen brauchen wir Hähnchen und eine Packung Reis, oder? Eine Packung Reis, oder? Ja, wir kaufen das Hanschen an der äh, Fleischtecke. Fleisch. Tecke. Und eine ja, Packung. wir kaufen das Hähnchen an der Fleischtecke und eine Packung Reis sollte reichen. Fleischtecke und eine Anna Packung Reis. Anna ist Vegetarierin. Reichen. Sollen wir etwas anderes für sie machen? Nice. So, äh, äh, ist sie Fisch? Does she eat fish? Okay. Is the fish? So is is something like saying like like does? So does she fit? So this literally it's this is this direct translation is does she fish? Does she fish? Is the fish? Bro. Is the, is, is the fish? Is the fish? Does she fish, bro? Does she eat fish? Is the question. Is the fish? Germany, what's going on with this sentence here, my guy? Is the fish? Was? What? It doesn't make it make it make sense. <laughs> I'm confused. Nein, die ist kein Fleisch. Um, keine uh, Wurst und keine Fisch. So she doesn't eat. She's she's vegan, bro. She's vegan. She 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 ain't, she ain't rocking with that. She's not rocking with the Nein, meat. You feel me? Sie ist kein Fleisch. She's keine anti Wurst meat. und keinen Fisch. Oh, it says it right here, obviously. Anna is vaga, vaga. How do you how do you say it right here? Anna, Anna is vegetarian. Sollen oh, wir etwas vegetarian. anderes für sie machen? Oh yeah, Anna is vegetarian. Uh, vegetarian. Uh, sollen wir etwas anderes für sie, sie machen? Okay, is the Eier und uh, Käse? So does she eat eggs and cheese? Bro, she just said she don't eat meat. Okay, question in the comments down below. Um, ich habe eine Frage für euch. Um, 
für euch. Uh, ist, you know, Eier ein Fleisch oder was? Oder nein, I guess. Ist Eier ein Fleisch oder, oder nein? Oder nein? Let me know, man. I, I need an Antwort in the comments down below. Ist sie Eier und Käse? Ja, aber lass uns einfach ein bisschen uh, Gemüse kaufen. Gemüse, 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 Gemüse. Und um, Obst für den Nachtisch. So, that's true. You can use uh, fruit ja, for dessert. Aber lass uns einfach ein bisschen Gemüse kaufen und Obst für den Nachtisch. That sounds good. Klingt gut, klingt gut. Uh, und viel Bier. Anna liebt Bier. Und Bier ist ja eigentlich ein uh, flüssiges, Fluss, flüssiges, flüssiges uh, Brot. Just liquid bread. Und viel Bier. Anna liebt Bier. Und Bier ist ja eigentlich nur flüssiges Brot. Flüssiges Brot. <lacht> Na, gut. Na gut. Dann kaufen wir noch einen Kasten Bier. Sicher ist sicher. Sicher ist sicher. So, na gut, dann kaufen wir noch einen Kasten Bier. Sicher ist sicher. Das war super, James Bray. We had two mistakes today, but that's fine. So, uh, this one was wir können um, die Verse an uh, der Fleischtheke kaufen. Wir können die Wurst an der Fleischtheke kaufen. Wir können die Wurst an der Fleischtheke kaufen. So, ich müsste um, ein Voll Vollkornbrot, Vollkornbrot. Ich möchte ein Vollkornbrot. Ich möchte ein Vollkornbrot. Brot. Nice, that's it. Das ist alles. Um, As you can see, there were a few issues I was having. One of the biggest issues was how German grammar is phrased. I was like, because <laughs> it's sometimes it seems very straightforward and other times it does not. So let me know uh, what I can, you know, what I need to work on. How is my pronunciation? Is it getting better? Is it not? I like, you know, this, this whole journey has been pretty awesome. But once again, the year's almost over. So, you know, this may be the last lesson of 2020. But don't worry, 2021 is in a few days, so <laughs> you'll get it on and pop it. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to see you guys soon, real soon. Bis später, Leute. Ciao, ciao. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay? It's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now, I know you guys stumbled up across the channel, and you're like, what does this guy post? Like, what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right? It's random content. I don't know what I'm going to be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey, and it really means a lot. Now, for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made, and they're all the links will be in the description down below that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways i decide to have i'll remind you when the giveaways take place but you'll be surprised what i will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that i do the same thing back thank you guys so much for being amazing and i will see you in the next video take care peace